Today, we're gonna to be converting this Stinger B from an O3 to an O4 Pro with a Nubi Drone conversion kit. Let's go ahead and unbox this Nubi Drone conversion kit. Whoa, so many bags. All right, so this is exactly what's included in the O4 A unit kit. I am very glad and happy that Nubi Drone included an extra XT30 with the cap, so that's gonna be useful. Anti-battery slip for your top plate with some extra Nubi Drone straps and zip ties. The 3D prints for the GPS and the antennas that go in the back. Top plate with side plates because we're gonna have to swap those out because this O4 Air Unit Pro is a little bit bigger. And then some extra screws that go in the top plate and bottom plate and standoffs. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the first step we're gonna do is remove the props. The reason why is because we don't wanna cut ourselves while we're moving around trying to remove these screws. After we have removed the propellers, now we're gonna go ahead and remove these six screws right here. After you have removed the six screws, you're gonna go and grab the drone, grab it from the front, and there's tabs right here. Just lift up, that's all you gotta do, and it comes off. But don't pull too hard because then you could definitely damage some components. Once we have successfully removed the tabs from the front, now we want to go ahead and remove these four screws on the side plate. It could be any side. I'm choosing the left side for now. All right, now let's go ahead and remove this side plate right here. Let's pull up. And then now we're gonna go ahead and pull it out from whatever side you pulled off the side plate from. Now it should be a little bit easier for you to access the O3 air unit. So let's go ahead and remove that right now. All right, now that we have more access to our components, we're gonna go ahead and unplug the O3 air unit. And then we're gonna go ahead and unscrew it from the bottom, these four screws. So now after we have removed the four screws from the bottom of the O3 air unit, and we have removed the cables out of the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and lift the O3 air unit, unplug it from the back, and then we should be free to go alongside with the camera. There we go. Here she is. Okay, so the O3 air unit is about to be removed. We just need to do this one last step and is remove this antenna, antenna mount because the O4 air unit has two antennas and not one. So O3 air unit is gone for sale, hit me up. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the top plate from the Stinger B. And it's actually a little bit tricky, so a little bit of patience is gonna be required, but we're gonna go ahead and remove the grommet. Then we can just go ahead and swipe this thing up. Boom. It has been rolled up. Yeah, it's pretty stretchy, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove the top plate with ease. Boom. Oh, the video, that's right. Let's finish the build. All right, let's see what's next. So, since you guys, as you guys saw, we removed the top plate from the O3 version. So we have to remove that. And also, we have to remove the GPS 3D print mount. So let's go ahead and grab the new ones we have right here. And it's gonna remove this one real quick. So let's go ahead and unplug the GPS really quickly. And then we have to remove this hardware, this, this standoff and this standoff, and obviously the side plate as well, because we're gonna be installing the updated version for the O4 Pro. All right guys, so as you guys can see, this is a 3D printed mount right here. A cool little thing about this is that you can just slide it right out. I recommend you grab the wires so you don't pinch it. I mean, so you don't damage the wires. All right, let's go ahead and slide in the new 3D printed mount. So we're gonna go ahead and put it halfway in. Do one side, just like that. Push that in, if anybody wants to. And then now the other side, just like that. Slide the rest in. And now 
you can push this down. There you go, no screws or anything involved. All right, we're good to go. So once, after you install it, if you wanna double check to make sure that you got it, that you installed it correctly is flip it over and you're gonna see that square hole right there. The reason why we have that is to access that bind button that is right here. All right, so after we have installed this, Beceiver, now we're gonna go ahead and install GPS 3D printed mount. Should be pretty easy. Plug it back in and just pop it right back in from the side, the same way we took it out. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the GPS back into the new updated TPU mount. So plug this back in. And this part is gonna be a little bit tricky, but you're gonna have to jam the wires a bit. I know that sounds, feels wrong, but as long as you jam it in there, you should be good to go. Let's go ahead and install the standoffs into the GPS mount. So make sure you have the updated side plates, make sure you have the newer, updated, longer standoffs, and make sure you grab M2 by six screws. These are gonna be the ones you're gonna need to install this, install these standoffs. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the screws, a 1.5 millimeter hex, and install standoffs. So this one's gonna go on the left side. So we're gonna go ahead and install it on the left side. There we go, there goes one right there. So as you guys can see, we have installed the standoffs on the left camera side plate. And now we're just gonna go ahead and push it right in. Should be like knife going through butter. Boom. There we go. Now let's go ahead and grab the little 3D printed side plates for this plate. So we're gonna go ahead and have to reuse the screws from the camera plate that are on the O3 to the O4. Or if not, you guys have spare ones laying around, hopefully. All right guys, now that we have the screws from the O3 camera, I'm gonna go ahead and use them onto the O4. Now, go ahead and make sure that your writing is right side up. I have installed the camera backwards like that one time where the writing is upside down. So if you don't wanna install this incorrectly, make sure this is, make sure this is the right side up. And for the 3D printed mount, you're gonna go ahead and see a flat side and then a side with the little edge right here, groove. Make sure you put the flat side like that so it fits into the camera side plate. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install these 3D printed mounts for the O4 Air Unit Pro. There we go. And that's gonna go on like this. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these long screws from the older top frame, top plate. Screw it in. That way the TPU is held in place. And we're gonna do that with all four holes. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the antennas from the O4 air unit and just slide them in like that. Reason why we, the reason why we wanna do this first is because if we don't, we're gonna have a hard time installing the bottom antenna plate because of how big it is and then now we're just going to slide it in and this part might be a little bit tricky but it requires a little bit of force not too much there we go and now you can either leave it in the top or push it all the way to the bottom kind of depends on you guys or whatever you guys want to do but that's how it goes now we're going to put the unit itself into the screws so as you guys can see they're already protruding Grab my 1.5, start screwing this puppy in. Make sure you just align the holes to the correct ones. And then we should be good to start screwing in. As you guys can see, if we install the camera right now, we have this long cable just flopping around. We don't want that. So what we're gonna go to do is shrink it a bit but don't do it too tight because we don't want to damage the cables. What we're going to do is kind of do like a little S shape and just zip tie it 
but obviously don't zip tie it all the way down because you can damage the cable from doing that just a little a little pinch like that should be fine right no more than that maybe a little more it still moves around guys it's not super tight after we have done the little zip tie trick with the cable so it's not flopping all over the place now we're going to go ahead and clip this side plate this TPU into the side plate. Now you're gonna fully in. As you can see, it is flush. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the cable. Same cable as the O3 air unit. Thank you, DJI, for doing that. I really do appreciate that. So we clip that puppy in. Then we go ahead and kind of bend this up a bit. You don't want this flopping around. And clip it from this side as well. And boom, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and install this upper frame now. Just like how we removed it, we're gonna install it. There we go. And then now, all we need is the grommet and then the top plate, we slide it in. As you guys can see, we got the top plate, the grommet, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the opposite of what we did in the beginning. So let's go ahead and put the top plate first. Now this part is going to be really tricky guys, unfortunately you're going to need a pair of pliers if you want to get this done easily, uh, need a nose pliers. So you want to go and put it in through the grommet and just stretch it out, just should go right in like that. There we go. Now we just put this into the top plate. Let's go ahead and install it in there. As you guys can see, we have the grommet on. We're gonna have to install this camera side plate just like that. We should be good and I'll do the same thing for the other side. There you go. Now we're gonna be screwing in this last screw. And then now, Boom, bada bam. We're gonna go ahead and install the top side plates into the bottom plate, just like that. Make sure you're not pinching any wires, it's very important. And now we're gonna go ahead and screw everything in, and we should be good to go. All right, second to last step, guys. Let's go ahead and screw in these screws that go on the top plate, and then you can put in some zip ties, and actually, some Nubi drone battery straps. So as you guys can see, we have installed the top screws, and then now all we have to do is grab the bag that came with the battery strap and the zip ties, oh, and the battery pad, and we'll go ahead and install these. Now, if you're wondering what these zip ties are for, let me go ahead and show you. We want to fully secure these antennas, so we want to go ahead and do it with some zip ties. There we go, there's one, and same thing that goes in the bottom right here. There's already a little groove indented into the three print mount so you guys can go ahead and just zip tie right on on there and second one and then we just chop that off and here we go those antennas are not going anywhere all right battery pad just like any other battery pad guys i'm going to go ahead and take off Protect the film on the one side. Okay, line it up, and then it goes on just like that. Boom. Your battery's gonna go right here. It's an anti-slip battery, so it won't slip anywhere. And then now, this very awesome Nubi Drone labeled battery strap. Just put this one right here in the bottom. So here comes the last strap that goes on top. Boom. Make sure you're not running it over any wires or anything because you are going to be strapping this down as hard as you can to your battery so it doesn't go anywhere. And we're all set. All right, guys, so you guys just saw me convert this thing you be from an O3 to an O4 Air Unit Pro. So, hopefully, this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any more questions, comment down below or leave a ticket down in the Nibidron website for us to go ahead and help you out. But not too bad. There's going to be some parts where you're going to need a little bit of strength or just a little bit of flexibility with your tools. But besides that, 
I think some common hand tools, common drone tools, you should be fine to go ahead and convert your Stinger B from an O3 to an O4 Pro. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Let us know what you like. Peace out.